What up, peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. Today is Sunday, starting the vlog off here at home, which we normally wait till the store to do. But uh, last night, well, for the past couple days, I have been having, like, not really bad, but it kind of comes in waves, like acid reflux. And I don't know. I don't usually get that. Like, sometimes I'll get it if I eat, like, pizza or something, but, you know... I haven't had pizza since game night on Tuesday. I mean, it's Sunday now. And I don't know what it is, but I've been having it for the past couple days. And it really kept me up last night. It was, I don't know if you guys have ever experienced it where it's not constant. It comes in like waves. But when you get that wave, it's almost, especially if you're laying down, it's almost like you have to stop yourself from like almost throwing up. That's the feeling that I get, at least. And so <clears throat> every time it would happen, I would wake up. And so I did not get good sleep last night at all. Kept me up pretty much all night. So I'm going into the store a little bit late. Um, Abby and Ryan have been handling things this morning. I slept for a couple extra hours because, like I said, I didn't really sleep last night. So Abby told me it's kind of busy. So I'm assuming we're going to have some trades to look at. But I need to get there and give them some help. So I'm going to head in right now. I'm going to gather my things. I have a couple games I need to ship out to our friend Tom. He traded some stuff to me forever ago and I've been, I just keep forgetting and putting it off, but I got his stuff. So I'm going to ship those out today. Let's get to the store. So we were trying to put these NES games away today and this is not all the new stuff. There's other stuff mixed in here. Hi, Abby. Hi. Oh, are you filming me? Yeah. Don't so I just filmed you when I said hi. You're not allowed. So this is where the NES games were, are supposed to be, and I was trying to put them away earlier with all the other ones out here, and they're definitely not going to fit. So the they were stacked like this, and that's our that's the way we've been doing it. But what we wanted to do with the expansion is to change these around so that we have them like this instead of like that. And so we couldn't fit the games out how it was, so I was like, okay, well, since we can't fit them anyway, let's grab some more shelves, let's move everything up, let's see, you know, how it's actually going to work. And it looks a lot better. You can alphabetize yeah. things way easier. I don't like that, I don't like them on these shelves because the games don't want to slide. Um, the You can see that's like wire shelving, so... You put a game in there, and it stands up pretty nicely, but you try to move it, and it just gets caught. So, if I, you know, the shelf's pretty full, so if I have to put a game in right here, I take one off the end, move it down there, and I have to scoot all these over, and it's nearly impossible without doing them in just, like, little stacks at a time. So... The first thing I tried was to put some empty cases down like this. I also put one across the back over there, which that works great. The problem is we can't do that for everything. We don't have a ton of cases. So, well, we do, but I'm not going to waste them all on, on this. So the idea is to go to Home Depot and get some sort of material. The material that I used on the back of the custom shelves that we built for the game room is what I'm thinking about using. But uh, it's basically like this thin. It's really smooth on one side, and it's like a rough texture on the other side. And if we can cut it to size, I think it'd be perfect to have just one strip that goes across the bottom like this. Just, you know, measure it, cut it to size, have it go all the way across, and then have another piece that sits on the back. Uh, the shelves are not... They're like, they're a 90 degree angle, but they don't sit. They're not like perfectly flat this way, if that makes sense. They're, they're angled up a little bit so that stuff doesn't fall off the front of the shelf. So if we have one going up the back and one across the front and it's all secure and everything, then it should work perfectly, per, you know, perfectly well for what we want it to do. So it's not something we can do overnight, um, you know, but that's what I want to do with the shelves. And this is how we want to organize the games once the expansion is done that'll go for super nintendo also for genesis and you know that's pretty much it that is stored like that but the genesis games are so hard to look through they're so hard to find what you're looking for and you can see there's a bunch of games stacked in front because there's not enough room and it's just not great so having them like this would be so much better and that's what we want to do for everything but uh yeah i can't fit the nes games out so unfortunately, we didn't really do too much filming today. We're already closed. Why did we not do filming? Because I filmed earlier. Abby's trying to get me in trouble on the vlog. I am. 
So when I got here, um, I pretty much just worked on shipping all day and then working on website stuff, doing the weight and dimensions for all the new items and stuff, adding pictures and stuff, which I do pretty much every day. Uh, gotta keep doing it to stay caught up on it or else we'll get buried. Um, but we do have a bunch of trade-ins to show you here. And what else? Um, I see you got some noodles. I do have some nudes down here. In the description below. No, just um, we had Cooper and Ryan had Panda Express, which I don't like at all. I think it's gross. It's too sweet. Um, and then I had Thai Terrace. That was my Bluetooth speaker turning off. And then Mango Lemonade, which is the bomb diggity. Ugh, I'm so thirsty. <laughs> I have some water in the back. I need to. I'm gonna go get that right now. Hydration is key. All right, so let's take a look at the trade-ins from today, guys. We have a boxed white Wii. This is a fully complete one with the game and everything. We also have a GameCube, a Wii Mini, a Super Nintendo, and then we have a 3DS XL, also one Super Nintendo game, a Luigi Wii Remote, and then a bunch of loose DS games here. We have Tinkerbell, Sonic Rush, Pokemon Sun, Pokemon Sun, Pokemon Sun, and Pokemon Moon. I believe these these were purchased from us. Um, the people the people bought them because they wanted they wanted some of the shiny Pokemon that were on them, and we allow them to you know if they bring their DS they can they can plug them all in, see which ones they want, and then buy them. And then they they had them for a while, so yeah, it's not like they bought it yesterday and traded them back in today. No, they were a while. It was a while ago. Um, he basically like. Didn't he doesn't have two systems, but he knew somebody who had two systems. And at first he was like, Oh, because he has special needs, he was like, I'm going to buy all of these and then I'm gonna return them. And I was like, mm. I was like, that's not how it works. <laughs> um, I ended up making a deal with his mom on the whole thing, and she was very understanding about that. She's like, No, she's like, We can't just return them for getting our cash back. So I did end up buying them back at a really, really like high percentage. Um, and that was like her idea, not necessarily mine. So we made a little bit of money on them and still got them back. Um, but yeah, he harvests shinies from them basically. And <laughs> he, that's like, and anytime he comes in, we, at the time when they bought those, we had like 10 copies of all of them all together <clears throat> and he wanted to buy all 10 and she's like, I'm not spending $200 <laughs> on Pokemon games. So, um, she was, like, not into that. So, they agreed on five. Um, but, yeah. That's crazy. And they've done that quite a few times. Yeah, he'll, um, he'll come in. Whenever and they come in. And pick which ones he yeah, wants. they test them all out and see if there's any shinies on them. And then, for Wii U, we have Donkey Kong, Tropical Freeze, Disc Only, Disney Infinity, 2.0, Mario Kart, which is water damage, New Super, or no, Super Mario 3D World. New Super Mario Bros. U and Yoshi's Woolly World. For PS4, we have Paw Patrol, Call of Duty Ghosts, NBA 2K16, 2K14, and FIFA 14. For PS2, MVP Baseball, Test Drive, Hot Shots Golf 3, 007 Agent Under Fire, and Hitman 2. And for 3DS, Pokemon Moon and Yokai Watch, and then Superman Returns for original DS. For the Switch, Just Dance 2019, 2020, and 2018. Why is 2018 the most expensive one? I have no idea. <laughs> for PS3, Gran Turismo 5, Lego Marvel Super Heroes, Lego Dimensions, Lego Movie Video Game, and Dead Island. We have some movies here. Star Trek 2, Wrath of Khan, Twilight Zone Definitive Edition Season 1. Braveheart, Marvel's Avengers, Gladiator, Rocky, Jack Jack the Giant Slayer. These are Blu-ray here. Incredible Hulk, Avatar, another Avatar, Triple X, SWAT, and Transformers, which is a HD DVD. And then we have one GameCube game, just Need for Speed Underground. And then some Wii games, Big Brain Academy, Boom Blocks, Wii Sports Resort, Bigs 2, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games, Wii Fit, and EA Active. And then Xbox 360. Oh, did you change this one? 
I told you about it earlier? No. Okay, we have Assassin's Creed Black Flag. So the listing says disc in case, but it's a complete copy. It's an easy fix, though. Assassin's Creed Revelations, Thief, Plants vs. Zombies, Garden Warfare, Destroy All Humans, Batman Arkham Asylum, Resident Evil 5, Halo Anniversary, Batman Arkham City, Red Dead Redemption, uh, Batman Arkham City again, College Hoops 2K8. Wow, that's expensive. The title says Disc and Case. Oh, uh, no, it doesn't. It says GameStop Edition. It said Disc and Case after that. Oh, uh, Game and Case. Yeah. College Hoops 2K8. Is this in poor condition? Is yeah, it listed? And it's priced down. Because so it's a little, it's a little a good deal. water damaged looking. Lost Planet 3. Never see that one. I know. What the heck? See one and two all the time. NFL Tour. Never seen that game. NBA 2K16. Madden 25. Motion Sports Connect game. Just Dance 2014. Forza 4. Madden 11 for the Wii. <laughs> Don't know why that was in that stack. And NBA 2K12. And then... Yeah, but I had separated them out, so the Wii games should have all been together. Yeah. Lastly, we have original Xbox games. If I can spin them with one hand. All right, we have Far Cry Instincts, Gun, Genma Onimusha, very sun faded, Breakdown, Unreal Championship, Deus Ex Invisible War, Doom 3, Chronicles of Riddick, Crimson Skies, Beyond Good and Evil, Jade Empire Limited Edition, Mercenaries, Ninja Gaiden, Prince of Persia, Warrior Within, Starfighter, Jedi Starfighter, Thief Deadly Shadows, 13, Advent Rising, and then... Halo 2, limited edition, no slipcover, and obviously it's not in the best condition. Is that everything? Yeah. I think those are all the trades, guys. Yeah. Let me let's see your shirt. Oh, my Aristocat shirt. Yeah. It's pretty cool. It's pretty rad, even though you hate the movie. I don't hate, hate the movie. You hate me for liking the movie. No, Cooper I don't hate it. the movie. I watched that movie a lot when I was a kid. But for some reason, Abby wants to watch it, like, every two weeks. <laughs> okay, that's an exaggeration. Maybe not like, really. Maybe, like, once a month. It's not an exaggeration that you want to watch it every two weeks. But it is also not an exaggeration that you try to watch it, or try to make me watch it, every month. And I'm not into that. <laughs> but you're into watching Family Guy over and over and over again. To fall asleep? Even though you've seen it countless number of times. That's why I can fall asleep to it. <laughs> it gets so bad, guys, that... I have not watched Family Guy in a long time. It. You put it on last night. Yeah, because the dogs were barking at... Or the dog was barking at the Rugrats noises. Um, <laughs> but, like, it gets so bad that he'll watch... He'll fall asleep to, like, the Family Guy playing. And will, like, he'll watch through... Sleep through, like, all of the seasons. Which there's a crap ton of. And I'm starting to dream in, like, the freaking voices. And I hate it. Like, it gets to the point where it's, like, na like me hearing, like, Peter or Lois's voice is, like, nails on a chalkboard. Like, that's how, like, bad it gets just falling asleep to that. Whereas I can fall asleep to forensic files that I've seen, like, a million times. See? So you can't say anything because it's the same thing. Aristocats, for me, when I was little, there was three movies that I would watch. Babe, Aristocats, and Beauty and the Beast. Oh, babe the Pig? Yeah. <laughs> pig in the City? No, that's the, I think that's the second one. <laughs> I would watch the first one. But yeah, those were like my three movies, and I would What go, was the third one? Uh, Beauty and the Beast. Oh, yeah. And I would go, like, I'd have to go to work with my mom, and I would just, like, sit in the conference room, and I'd have those, like, three movies. I had other movies I could pick from, but I didn't like those. I hated Cinderella. I still don't really like it. <laughs> what about the mice? The mice are cool, but I can't. <laughs> I can't stand the stepmother or the stepsisters. Like, no one can. That's the point. No, like I just cannot at all. Like I might seem to like pull my hair out. But yeah, that's the point. What are the movies you watched as a kid? Nightmare Before Christmas. I'd watch that's that a that lot. You, you watch it all the time. Yeah. Yeah. And then we would watch Milo and Otis a lot. To, like, fall asleep. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you've seen that one. I talked to Ryan about that movie. He loves it, too. Yeah. But it's, like, it's a real... It's live action. It's a cat and a dog, like a puppy and a kitten. But they're they're real. And they're, yeah. like... There's, like, a narrator that... It's, like... 
It's like book on tape almost, but then there's visuals. But it's like a narrator that does the whole movie. Oh, and he talks in the different voices and stuff. <laughs> but um, we watched a ton of Disney and Pixar movies. Yeah, I know. Because my like, dad loves them. Yeah. But so like, we would watch. mom hates Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> we would watch Ice Age all the time. We would watch. We'd watch Finding Nemo and Monsters, Inc. and Toy Story and The Incredibles and Shrek and... Shrek's good. Movies like that. I just bought a Blu-ray set from Nathan with all the Shrek movies. Yep. <laughs> um, so, while we're doing... And then I watched the movie Rad, which is freaking rad. God. Um... <laughs> I'm Robbie. <laughs> um. So I've been, I've been like looking at things that we need to get for the store. You can't look at this. What do we it need? Our, it has I'm our, not looking at it. Um. Just like various things we need for the store. And I, I was wondering if there's anything like that you think we need. Ugh, I don't know. This clip's getting too long. I know. Bye. I was hoping you would end it. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> After taking a bunch of Mario Bros. Duck Hunts out, they do fit. And these are all perfectly alphabetized. I left a little bit of the Mario Bros. ones in there, but that's it. We have literally over 80 copies in stock. We do not need them all out here. So we put empty cases on for now, and it works pretty good. They don't fit perfectly, as you can see. Um, there's about two inches of space on the edge here, and Unless we tape all the cases together, that means that when people are moving them around, they will do that, which is not good, but there's really no way to avoid that unless we tape all the cases together, which we have done for the PlayStation stuff over here. So these are all taped together, but you know, you still have a little gap at the end. It's just the cases will not separate. So it's not perfect. And we're definitely going to get some stuff from Home Depot, get it cut to size, and that'll be much, much better. But for now, this will do. You're so yappy. <laughs> Are you excited? Outside. I have filmed Homer a couple times after coming home recently because I want you guys to hear his yappy bark. Because we, you know, he doesn't really bark when we're filming that often, and usually if he does, he interrupts whatever's going on. But we've talked about it a little, a little bit before, and I don't think people realize like that he did one yap just now that you guys saw. But that was not, that was not how it is sometimes. Sometimes it's like unbearably shrieky, and just ugh, it's like nails on a chalkboard. But I think Abby used that phrase earlier in today's vlog. That's kind of weird. But just got home and don't really have anything else planned for tonight. Just going to make some food, watch some Blacklist, edit the vlog, get to bed. Tomorrow is Monday, so we should have a bunch of packages coming. And then what else? Packages. And then they're supposed to be starting the demolition uh, for next door tomorrow. So I don't know if you're going to be able to hear that at all. I can't film it at all because obviously we're not going to be going over there. I don't have keys to that side of the of the building yet. But... They should be starting tomorrow, hopefully they are, because I really want this thing to be done. And I don't know when we're gonna have to close, but at some point we will have to close so that they can demo the wall in between the two suites. And and then, you know, once the permits are done, then they'll build everything. So I'm really hoping that they don't have to demo that middle wall until they're ready to start building because we can't afford to close for like two months. There's just no way. So. I've already explained that to them, and they know to demo that wall last and wait as long as possible. So hopefully we don't have too much of a you know downtime when we're closed. But uh, either way, I'm excited for stuff to finally be starting on that. It's going to be incredible. So thank you guys so much for watching today's vlog. I really hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys again tomorrow.